Hi everyone. In this video, we'll be walking through how to work with your Sony Makopi motion capture data in Rococo Studio. By working within Rococo Studio, you'll be able to enable foot locking, add finger and face motion capture data, and stream your motion capture into software like Unity and Unreal Engine to control custom characters in real time. Let's get started. Sony has released a getting started video that you can follow. The link is in the description of this video. Once you have the system set up, we can connect it to Rococo Studio Beta. You can find Rococo Studio Beta at rococo.com, or you can click the link in the description. Once you've downloaded and installed Rococo Studio Beta, you can open up the program. If you already have a Rococo ID, you can sign in with browser, or if you don't, it just takes a few moments to sign up. This is Rococo Studio Beta. For in-depth tutorials covering the program, please check out our YouTube page or the links in the description below. To work with our Makopi motion capture, we'll first need to create a new project. Then we'll create a new scene. Now we just need to create an actor profile where we can enter our height. Once we're in the scene, we'll need to start up our Makopi system. Once we have, Makopi should appear in our scene. At this point, the workflow is the exact same as if we were using a Rococo SmartSuit Pro. If we want to record a take, we would just click the record button. When we're done, we'll click it again to stop. If we play through our recording, we can see our foot contacts with the floor represented at the bottom of the screen. We can edit these foot contacts to improve the mocap take. Each bar represents when each foot is on the ground. We can edit the foot contacts by sliding the keyframes in the timeline. You can also find tutorials for cleaning your motion capture data in Rococo Studio in the description below. Now, we could rename this recording, and then export it out and bring it into a software like Blender, Unity, or Unreal Engine. Now, how do we add Rococo Smart Gloves or Face Capture to our Makopi data? It's actually quite easy. If you've already set up and configured your Smart Gloves, you should just be able to plug them into batteries, and then they'll appear in the scene, and you can drag them onto the same actor profile as your Makopi mocap data. You can do the same thing with Rococo facial motion capture. Now we have full performance motion capture, including body, hands, and facial mocap. Not only can we add hand and facial motion capture data to our Makopi data, we can also stream our Makopi motion capture data out to programs like Unreal Engine or Unity. The workflow is the same as if we were using Rococo hardware, and you can find tutorials for live streaming in the description below. And that is an introduction to using Makopi motion capture data within Rococo Studio. We'll be releasing more tutorials in the near future, and please contact Rococo support if you have any other questions. Thanks so much. See you in the next video.